You may have heard of uh, Enoch Burke's sister, Amy Burke, who was dismissed from her job as a solicitor with Arthur Cox Solicitors. Back in May, of, she went to the WRC with an unfair dismissal claim and the adjudicator at the WRC was unable to conduct the hearing or carry on with the hearing and abandoned it and basically threw her case out on the basis that he had issued a number of warnings to Amy Burke and her mother in relation to their conduct and so on and he ve felt that he was unable to conduct the WRC unfair dismissal hearing and so dismissed her case. Amy Burke then brought a claim or brought a case rather to the High Court and she was looking for an order from the High Court basically uh, against the Workplace Relations Commission and against, I think against Arthur Cox, but certainly against uh, the Workplace Relations Commission in the way that they conducted the unfair dismissal hearing and that the Workplace Relations Commission had acted unlawfully and so on. There was a High Court hearing then in May of this year, May 2023, and at that hearing, the judge abandoned the hearing basically because she felt that or decided that Amy Bork was basically engaged in what she described as a blatant abuse of the court process. The question then arose after the High Court case was thrown out in May, the question of costs had to be dealt with. And the question of costs was dealt with today in the High Court by the same judge. But today as well, what happened was the judge had to terminate the hearing uh, with uh, without any delay and basically uh, because of uh, what she said was Amy Bork's conduct. So just to be clear, the judge terminated the hearing uh, because of Amy Bork's conduct today at the cost hearing. And this was only the cost hearing. The judge will now decide the issue of costs based on written submissions from the parties. What happened today was the hearing was terminated after uh, repeatedly asking the solicitor, Amy Burke, to stick to the issue and refrain from accusing others of lying. Miss Burke had accused Peter Ward, senior counsel for the other side, uh, of lying. Miss Burke or Miss Bulger, Miss Justice Marguerite Bulger, who was the judge, uh, she bid members of the court good day as she left the room to shouts of shame on you, by Miss Burke's mother and father. So the challenge to the WRC's rejection of her claim of unfair dismissal uh, from Arthur Cox was thrown out mid-hearing in May when the judge, Marguerite Bulger, decided that or determined that Miss Burke was engaged in the abuse of process. At the outset of the hearing on Wednesday, that's today, the judge warned that she would end the session early and rely solely on written submissions uh, if Miss Burke repeated her earlier behaviour, such as shouting down the judge and opposing lawyers. Miss Burke then immediately interrupted the judge, who told uh, Miss Burke to sit down. Various exchanges followed then regarding Miss Burke's complaints about the use of a stenographer hired by Arthur Cox to take a record of the previous hearing. Miss Burke did not present legal authorities to support her challenge to the use of the service, which she described as a private arrangement. The judge refused Miss Burke's request for the court to withdraw its uh, abuse of process finding against her. So the judge, remember, back in May, abandoned that hearing and described Miss Burke's behaviour as basically being an abuse of process. The judge said she wouldn't withdraw that finding. Burke asked the judge uh, to order the parties to pay their own legal costs, which would be a departure from the typical practice of making the losing side pay for the winning side's costs. The WRC and Arthur Cox uh, opposed this. Previously, the counsel for the WRC and counsel for Arthur Cox urged the court to award their clients costs um, even though on a legal practitioner and client basis and such an order would mark the court's disapproval of Miss Burke's conduct during the May hearing, said Miss Donnelly. Miss Justice Bulger then, the judge, formally rejected uh, Miss Burke's allegation of lying against Mr Ward, said there was no basis for this allegation. 
Miss Burke told the court it must look to the conduct of the parties to which the judge responded, oh, the court will be looking at the conduct of the parties. You can rest assured. Miss Burke continually challenged previous findings of the court and raised issues that the judge did not consider to be relevant because remember the judge today was only concerned with the question of costs. After repeated requests for her to refrain from accusing others of lying uh, to control the people with her, presumably that was her appearance, uh, and speak only on the issue of costs and final orders, Miss Justice Bulger ended the hearing. She will deliver her decision on the final orders and costs at a later date. Miss Burke's WRC complaint, alleging she was unfairly dismissed from Arthur Cox in late 2019, was dismissed due to persistent interruptions from the Burke family, particularly uh, Miss uh, Amy Burke's mother, Martina Burke. Arthur Cox were defending that case and were def denying that she was unfairly dismissed. So that's the latest uh, saga or episode in the saga. Um, the cost hearing has now been abandoned by Miss Justice Marguerite Bulger and she'll make her decision based on the written submissions of the parties. Hope you find this video useful. If you're watching this video on YouTube, you may be interested in subscribing or hitting the like button down below. And if you're listening to it on Spotify or iTunes, if you're listening to the podcast, you may be interested in leaving a review or giving it uh, or submitting or um, signing up as a subscriber. Just subscribe to my podcast. Thanks a lot.